Guys, I am signing up for the Open this year. I am so excited. I am so scared. Not scared, not excited. Anxious, titillated, up for the challenge. We'll do the Open together. I'm up for the challenge. I want you to be up for the challenge. I want to be a part of something that brings us all closer together. I want to do something that supports uh, CrossFit, the CrossFit Games, uh, the group of us that's out there that believes in personal accountability and personal responsibility. So that's why I'm doing it. Three weeks are over, and I'm gonna be titillated, proud of myself. I'm gonna think I'm the shit because I completed it. The affiliates that have the most participation, hit me up in the DMs, hit Sousa up, and I'd love to have you guys on the show and do my part in helping uh, support you guys and reward you guys for what you're doing for uh, your clients. See you on the leaderboard. What are you guys doing? Prepping the Prepping the food. Yeah, we're prepping the boxes, getting them cleaned up. Is that, is that just water or what are you wiping on? Uh, sanitizing wipes. Can I smell it? Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, it smells lemony. See, look at you. Look at you, I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> influencer, they call me an influencer. I like it. See what we can do. Get it, get Go it. Get it, Miss right Baker. There. She's climbing. She's climbing, baby. Seven places. Seven places. Dude, that's nuts. We're close. Hey, I, uh, she believed. I think I see it in her eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I told her this morning, I mean, we're playing with house money. Like, go have fun. Running's her jam. This is straight up CrossFit. And then you get to lift heavy in the Coliseum. Like, better send Emily, uh, Ellie Turner an Amazon gift card. I feel it's, it's such a <laughs> tough position too because like you hear that and you're like I hate that. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I mean we didn't even know. I I went to sleep last night like ate my feelings and then you know just passed out. Yeah. And then I woke up this morning because I had to be here for the team briefing and I saw that she had texted me at like 11 p.m. and I, yeah. I knew. I was like oh fuck. She's in it somehow. Showtime. So yeah. So go have fun. You always talk about how cool I am and then you never invite me. <laughs> I would love to. I'm just giving you shit. Let me tell you how cool you are right now. <laughs> uh, what's going on right now? Where are we? We're in the Coliseum, about to have another event. And uh, what's your situation? My situation is this weekend sucks, but. And tell me, tell me what's like about it. Why are you smiling at this so? Um. Well, I'm just trying to enjoy it. Like, you know, you never know how many t more times you're going to get to be out there and, like, things don't go according to plan and sometimes the weekend sucks, but you still want to soak it in and enjoy it and appreciate it, even though it honestly has not been fun. <laughs> what place are you in? 28th. And you made the cut yesterday? Yeah. And what place were you in this morning? 25th. So okay. I dropped on the run. And so you have to move up eight places yeah. in two workouts. Yeah. Is, is it feasible? It's feasible. I just feel like a shell of myself right now. So. Why is that? I don't know. I, th I don't know if it's the bike took it out of me. The <clears throat> last month of my life has been really rough. So I just haven't trained like I wanted to leading into the games. So it could be that. Um, uh, emotionally be, rough? Family? Yeah, family stuff. So like I had like a month of like not training ideal training but just really not ideal so like the whole month of july was pretty much a shit show for me um so and how, how many times have you been to the game this is six six straight wow yeah and i've never been in a position like this so it's it's not fun <laughs> um it seems like there's been a lot of shake up a lot of the veterans mm -hmm. have been yeah it's just been a weird weekend yeah hey guys a couple of things uh going forward um... <laughs> i'm a party <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know each other before the games? No. <laughs> you like this one? Gas tank. Empty the gas tank. It's fun. You, uh, so you don't save anything for the... Well, yeah. That's different. For the second interval? Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Typical kind of training piece for me. I like it. Yeah, that's the idea. The red pants and white t-shirt, you look like you're in the leader outfit. Yeah, we're manifesting things. Yes, you absolutely are.
Christ. David's daughter, lane 10. Simmons, lane 9. Flores, lane 8. Orba, lane 7. Obviously coaching is just like you've got to take responsibility for things and she's had a bit of a sore Achilles so I didn't want her to run too much in the camp leading up because it would tighten up her hips and her back. So it's like trying to find the balance of what you can afford to not do as much. So on that run, she fell behind a little bit just because she's not been exposed to it. But so far, the body's holding up all right. So it's disappointing for me because it's like, did I get the balance right? Like she's still crushed it to the best of her ability. But it's one of the things you have to do as a coach is take it on the chin and see if you've done the right thing, you know? So. It's funny, hey, because I mean, it's one that I would look at and be like, yes, this is awesome for Jamie, but you just, you don't know, right? It, loads, of, loads of athletes could feel the same way about it. So I'm hoping just because short, short range of motion and she's, and she's fit and she's getting a lot better on a, on a rower, that it'll be good for her. So, but it'll probably be good for everyone else. <laughs> so. She's going to be a grind. She's going to be a yeah, it's nasty, dude. It's fucking nasty. So, yeah. It should be fun. Yeah. I keep telling myself that. It's fun. <laughs> We had a technical difficulty with the beeper going off, so they got an additional 45 seconds of rest, so you guys will also. So at 6.45, you guys will kick off the second round. The heat, the cap for the second one is still six minutes. So work, rest till 6.45, and then work again. Make sense? All right. Thank you. I don't think I need chalk, but I'm gonna chalk. Turn the turn the brain off. Go at your own rows, just pace it off the field. Be prepared to not be able to go into the squat like some of them are staying quite high. Obviously yeah, on, the on the box jump overs, they look like they're not squatting, maybe their legs or not. I think yeah. you'll be fine, but just have that in mind that as a contingency, yeah. you might have to stay high and do that little step over one. Yeah. Okay. Take a couple and the break. For the break? Oh, oh, gummy. Oh, there you're going to... Oh, yeah, change. Go, go, go. Like, you're going to burn, but just trust it. Keep breathing your way through it. Row. Row a little faster than you want to. Just a little faster. Trust it. Ariel, you got this. Strategy. Don't eat all my fruit snacks yeah, while I'm gone. I won't. <laughs> What did she say? Don't eat all my fruit snacks while I'm gone. Uh, happened last year, and I got in trouble. Just, There's just a few things I learn every year not to do. Test number eight is intervals. Two intervals for total time. Down and back they go. 21 box jump overs, 15 cal row, nine burpee box jump overs. Rest at the six minute mark, they go again. Back down the floor. Tiny little seconds accumulate at the end of this thing, and so getting in and out of the row or getting to the boxes as quickly as possible will make a difference in the end. 90 total repetitions in each interval. Emma Lawson is your overall leader, and it's Emma Lawson in the middle of your screen wearing the white overall leader's jersey who had the top time in the first interval. She once again leading the way on this second interval. Winner of the test will get 100 points. Second place gets 96 and so on and so forth as you work your way down the result. So Lawson trying to get some more breathing room when it comes to the battle for the top spot in the overall standings. She is done, she'll be first in the row. 15 more calories here. But Lawson is getting set to finish up here and she will do it in convincing fashion. Lowen looks to be the next woman to finish. Lowen, Emma Lawson, who looks to hang on to uh, the leader's okay. jersey. Back to win a new shot. Uh, that's kind of our style of training, right? Like we do a lot of that interval stuff, we rest one to one. The benefit of having a training partner who's also at the games, we can kind of make that work really well. So, um, yeah, I knew she had it in her and uh, I told her before, like, the pedal down and whatever happens, happens, right? So, yeah, yeah. super proud. <laughs> Kelly, what, you won the second interval. I did, yeah. How did it go? I didn't see what happened. Did they give you a time for the whole? Event? I don't know. Honestly, I was really confused. I thought that we were time capped at four minutes on the way back. Yeah. Because that would be a total of ten minutes. So I like busted my balls to get as far as I could, and then 
I was in the box jumps over there like, keep going. I was like, damn it. But I just, I'm glad that I went out hard. Yeah. 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 It was yeah. a good one. Did you save some in the gas tank? For no. Second? No. 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 I think I just got more comfortable with like the box jump overs and the rhythm. I got a no rep on my first box jump over because I jumped down. It's just like what, you're not supposed to jump down? we have to step down. Oh. So it just like even though I practiced it back here, it's just kind of out of character to do and like adrenaline took over a little bit. So yeah, fuck man. <laughs> hey, um, when you didn't win the first interval, is that demoralizing or is that like? No, no. I was like I'm pretty good at consistency, like in intervals and I saw that we were like 430 so then I was thinking all right I'm gonna go as fast as I can because I thought we only had four minutes and I'll just like just know you'll die on the row and then we were off the row then we were on the box jumps and I was like oh shit we're actually finishing uh, but it was fun to finish like what an awesome experience so yeah yeah so even though like first interval maybe you took fifth yeah you still were like that you yeah were I was like let's light it up yeah. yeah so we'll say yeah Better, yeah yeah so it was a good little Day three. Good job, girl. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Cool, awesome. baby. How's it going? How did you do out there? It was okay. I just did whatever I could. I'm running on fumes. You are? I just couldn't, good. couldn't sleep the pack. last night, so I'm going to sleep two days after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what place were you in going into that? Uh... 29. 29. So we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll shake things up. And then just whatever's left for the lift. How close is it? Is it pretty close? Do you know? I think so. All the points? I think everything's kind of close. Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I know the points changed after the cut, so... Uh, to top 20, it was pretty close, so... We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's interesting because you combine scores. You just kind of have to wait and see what, what happens, so... She laid it all out there. She did what she had to do. Middle of the pack on that. So, pick people off in every heat, hopefully. One of your eyes was excited closed. for the lifts. <laughs> you were like, uh, there's, no, we're done. Well, there wasn't a third rail. <laughs> yeah. I did not know what that meant. I thought you were saying like to wave to you. I was like. You waved to us. <laughs> and you did, and you're like, what am I doing? It's a long story, just some back context. We were just trying to show her where we would be for the weightlifting event to give her some signals for the load. And she looked at us like she never recognized us ever. I really thought I was going to trip so many times. <laughs> I'm shocked if it's not yet. So you're golden now. Someone else would trip. It was so hard to not jump off the box. Like, on the last one. I always wanted to jump off. Oh. Have any pops or what? No. Yeah, what in my want? bag. Uh, get the get the fruit snacks and the mangoes. I haven't taken and this a water. Serious. Okay. I've never. I haven't taken go -go this go go squeeze, squeeze serious. Is that like baby food? I don't think so. I think it's literally just applesauce in a pouch. That sounds like baby food. I mean, basically. I'm saying like it just doesn't sound really athletic, you know like. Can you get my go-go squeeze? Well, you just, you just, you just went, went. <laughs> There's a great story behind it. If you notice, she's wearing a really ugly Star Wars shirt. We made a bet when she was younger. The first time she did Fran, she did it at 90 or 65 pounds, female weight. And I bet, I made a bet with her. I said, if you don't get below 245, then you have to wear my ugly Star Wars shirt for a week in the gym to work out. She got like 247. She was close. So she took my shirt. And then instead of wearing it, she cut it and made it cute and ruined my shirt. And so that's the shirt, so. <laughs> she went, she did the Open. She went to the games last year. She went to Rogue. We skipped Wadapalooza. She went to semis this year. Now she's at the games. And we're just going to continue the shirt. And then I got her birthday wrong when I made the shirt. So, uh, mistakes were made. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's like, it's gonna be worth something in the future. A lot of money, probably. Yeah, last year I was just happy to be here. So I was thinking this year maybe I could set some more goals for myself and see what I could do. So yeah, I'm super over the moon and happy. I've always got something to say, I'm like, that would look brutal. Yeah. There you go. That's my analysis, that would look brutal. I had to pretend it was like one round. 
and then, oh shit, no, there's one more. I only think it'll be through. <laughs> You've got a quick turnaround now, though, so we kind of need to get you back. Yeah, I can't wait to stretch 125 pounds after that. we got to work on getting in and out of rowers. Yeah. Out of tool list. <laughs> out of tool list. Into that workout. Overall, yeah, 18th. And so I'm fighting for it. Two places above the cut line. Yeah. And uh, how'd you finish in your? Week? Pretty well, fourth, I think, something like that. So. Who's that dude? That's my coach. Yeah. yeah. What's his name? Gabe. Gabe. A good dude. He a good He's dude. a dad of two. Oh. He's a dad of three, right? Oh, yeah, I like that. You have twins? Yeah, you have twins. You do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> my boyfriend is a twin. Yeah. So. That's nice. He's, he's on the job. He can <laughs> no, actually, his brother's girlfriend is also a twin. Oh, wow. That's so, a trip. Yeah. I'm the odd, oddball out. Will you, will you think will you move up in, in, with this workout? Or? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell where the points are. I let them do all that math. Yeah. I just do the work. Uh, so. did, you, did, you, did you watch? Oh, yeah. How was your performance? It's great. All weekend, she's been digging deep. Um, doing exactly what she needs to do, um, proving that she belongs. So she's uh, believing in herself and, and doing really well. So enjoying every moment of it. She's smiling, high-fiving all the fans while she does it. So it's a great week. Uh, Paige, are you having trouble keeping food down? Uh, after the long endurance events I did, but it was more of like the short turnover to the next event. Um, are you losing weight? No, I don't think so. Are you getting smaller? I'm fucking eating so much. Oh, good, okay. Like, I'm just... Almost like constantly feel full all the time, but it's the name of the game. You gotta manage the stress. So I don't really care what I look like. I feel like bloated out there. Who cares? Well, you look. I was, you you look leaner. Thanks. You look like yeah. You look well. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if it's good either. Actually, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, thought you just meant from like semis. No, I just mean like since you got here two days ago, you already look leaner. You look like. I, I guess I should check in on myself. <laughs> but you are, but you are just forcing food down. As, as uh, much here and there. Yeah. But I don't have a problem eating. Like, it is work, but. Um, but you're not throwing up and stuff like some of these guys are. No. no. No, the nerves aren't. The nerves are there, but I've never just been that athlete to puke or anything like that. Even in like college, when we would train and do two a days and preseason, I just I want to, but. <laughs> it's never been that athlete. I feel better if I did. Well, so. you look you look like a fucking fast Thanks, race car girl, yeah. Thanks. Gabe, thank you. Hey. Thanks. How's your horse? Horse is good, man. Yeah? Yep, yep. She's been bucking, but she's good. You got her under control? Yeah, yeah. I got her in the pasture over there grazing. <laughs> and finally, and your overall leader, Emma Lawson, will be in lane... Uh, what place was uh, Paige in coming into this workout? I believe 14th, 14th or 15th. So she did good. She sat in the middle of the pack there, and it's uh, after, I mean, the 5K, it's like whatever's left in your legs, and that's exactly it. So she did good. She did about as well as she's going to do in that one, and hopefully that saved her enough, just enough, like, for the lift. So that's going to be the big thing, how these athletes handle these two leg bomb workouts and then recover enough to see if they can lift heavy. So that'll be interesting. That'll be cool too. It'll be really cool to see. Much. Keeping it together? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. My body's feeling tired and sore, but just doing the best we can now. So it's good. Uh, tell me about the 5K. Um, honestly, that was a personal win for me. I didn't like do too great standings wise, but compared to like the long run we had last year, I did a lot better than that. I held a lot better pace. Um, and like my breathing felt great during it, but my legs are just so smoked from the last two days, so I didn't really have any go in them. But I'll take it as a personal victory. Are you uh, looking forward to the next workout? Yeah, I like it. I love lifting, so. And it's another one that's not painful, which is kind of nice to end our Saturday on. <laughs> just lift some heavy weights, no out of breath. So. Do you have any advice for Luke on this workout? Full send. He's the king of full sending, so I'm pumped to watch him. He's going to crush it. Yeah, baby. How's David doing? 
He's uh, focused for he sure. Uh, he sits in 25th now, so he, uh, he's got to work for two, these two events coming up, and I think he knows it. What place is he in, do you know? Sorry? Do you know what place he's in? Yeah, 25th. 25th. Yeah, okay. so on the bubble. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How was that? It was good. It was hard. Yeah? That was a fast heat, that last heat. Dude, you came out with so much blood flow in your back. It, uh, that was nuts. Do you feel think, that? Do you feel no. a crazy pump in your back? No. It was nuts, dude. <laughs> were you in the back after the first round? No, I just no. saw you come out here oh. and you were talking to him and I saw him like, who is that? And I'm like, oh, I don't even recognize you from when you, from when you went out. Crazy. How'd you do? I don't know, there's still... There's still I think it'll be, now. it'll be top half. Um, uh, you seem a little more uh, alert than the other girls I'm talking to. People are like literally like look like they're falling asleep out here. Like they're so fucking fatigued. It's been a long. I think we're all starting to feel it now. Yeah. Everyone was saying like it was hard to eat breakfast this morning, and it's like all the all the competition things are starting to catch up. Yeah. People are very fatigued. Yeah. She went for a little jog this morning, right? So. Is so that true? It was a little jog. Five. Oh, oh, that one, that uh, one, that one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, literally, I was just talking to Abigail Doman, and like one of her eyes was like closing. I saw that. Yeah. I was like, did she just smoke her face? And, like, <laughs> yeah, right. Like, looks wow. like a fighter. <laughs> what do you do? What, what are you gonna do to get up today, tonight? One more event. Like, is there a plan? Does he, does he slap you around? Do you sniff some salts? Do you? Yeah, do you just pray? get like. Do you like? What I, do you do? I think just keep the legs moving. Yeah. They want to cramp up. Just see what. I'm gonna probably just play it safe and do what I can do and try to recover for tomorrow. That'll be the plan. Is this the is this kind of the low? If there was a low in the event, is this it? Since you know in the tomorrow, weekend, yeah, yeah. Saturday's the low, and then Sunday's the final stretch. Yeah. Sunday, it's like it's like a workout, right? When you're on the last round, you can see the end. So I think tomorrow will be. We'll all be tired still, but. Do you know what the workouts are for tomorrow? No idea. And are you trying to ride that bike as absolutely slow as possible? Yeah. That's awesome. I love it. Hi, Amber. What advice are you giving me? <laughs> I'm not telling you that. <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> he's, in, he's in 25th? I think so, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. Are you more nervous for yourself or for him? Uh, depends on what event it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it must be a different experience to be here with your mate than to be here by yourself, huh? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Definitely. And very unique. <laughs> it is very unique. Yeah, a lot of people won't get that no. experience in their life. No, it's very nice. What? It's very nice. Very nice? Oh, it is yeah. nice, yeah, cool. Yeah. Someone to go through this with? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what place are you sitting in? Uh, 13th before that event. Which place? 13th. 13th. So we've got to see how this goes. Um, <laughs> do you, does that make you more relaxed knowing that you have a cushion or no you don't take any of it for granted Nah, nothing is for granted yeah like you move up and down so much depending like depending on your placing like it can turn so quickly yeah yeah what do you think about the other ladies here ah oh, they're fucking fit Not the first time I get burned on my knees. You look very light for a big guy. You look very light for a big, big guy. guy. Yeah, you look like a big giant fucking deer <sighs> or a, a buck jumping over those boxes. That's good. Yeah, I'll you take look that. great. Yeah. How's the how's the week going for you? It didn't start off too hot. So just we got two more to fight today, and we'll be in tomorrow. Uh, is this a is this a sprint? Controlled sprint, controlled chaos, I'd say. Yeah. The first interval, do you save something for the second interval, or are you? I would say you got to save something for the back half of each section, a little bit. Start off controlled, and then sprint each back half, so then you still have some in the tank for a kick at the end. What plate? Do you know what place you're in? Twenty first. Are you feeling pressure? Nope. Nope. Just gonna go out there and do my best. Um, Give it what I can. 
what place were you coming into today? Do you know? Uh, 22nd. 22nd, I think okay. the same. That's a good sign. Yeah, so we held, we held good today. <laughs> you Got to make up a few points, but yeah. So basically you're one place out of the cut. Yep. You have to slap someone down right now. Pretty much. Yep. Right now and then bury it with the clean and snatch tonight. So. Keep the tension. Thanks, good, good drama, good drama. Thank you. Thank What's you. your name? I'm Matt. Matt, nice pleasure. to meet you. Man. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Slow Thank burpees, you. huh? Okay. Yeah. And squatting in the box jump over? You know, like RP 4 to 5 all the way through. Rowing 1,100. Oh, Savan, hi. Yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> Is this a, uh, a sprint? This is a sprint, yeah. Two times power. Let's go. Cool. Something more, let's say, interesting than the running. Um, yeah. <laughs> you ready to go to war with this one? Yep. It's a you know sprint, short event. I like such events. So yeah. just don't think, just go. And a little bit of strategy. And, you know, it's two pieces, two intervals, so you just can't go too fast on the first one. Yeah. Tonight there's a good event for you. Yeah. Do you have to try not to think about it and stay focused here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think about the night. First this one, and then we'll see. Well, uh, what pace are you in now? Well, uh, 29. 29. 29. So you need a couple good showings. Yeah. Yeah, everything is possible. Yeah, it is possible. It is possible. It we'll is see. Possible. Yeah. Have you been enjoying your time here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Very much. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool to be here, you know. It's uh, the best place to be in our sport, the finals. We to be in top 40, right now in top 30 guys, the fittest guy in the sport. It's amazing feeling. Uh, Well-deserved end of the season. Really appreciate it being here every you know piece of time being here except the running the running sucks but after that uh, everything is cold and amazing congratulations just want to say have fun yeah uh, it's been great so far that's uh, cool yeah had a good time with it apart from this guy fucking shoving a camera in my face the whole time that's <laughs> <laughs> with it oh yeah why is that he has a little experience with uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. he's trying to he's trying to Put a little money on the line between me and Dave. Oh, I, I told him five bucks if he just does box clears. They're allowed to do it, and if anyone's going to, look at the guy. I'm better. I think yesterday was better when it was a little bit more spaced out, and I don't see a reason why not to space it out. Or I'm assuming it's because of the, um, what they were saying, something about the spectators have to rest as well between the events or something. Yeah, but I just feel like... It's going to be very interesting to see the lifting now because I think we have to reconsider opening weights and all that kind of stuff because it was just, uh, they're just so close, too close, as a matter of fact. I think. Something's different this year, like that there's been a shake up. Like we're seeing some athletes that we normally traditionally thought would have been doing better than aren't. Yeah. Do you think that it was that's the, the bike or do you think it's the programming or do you have any theories on that or do you even agree that things are shaking yeah. out a lot different than people thought? Both on the male and female side? Yeah. Uh, yeah, both on, I guess both on male and female. I think the competition just became interesting yeah, after sure. so long. Yes, it is very interesting. Yeah. Yes. And I think. That's a good thing for the sport, right? I agree, I agree. Do you think it's the athletes that yeah. changed? Or do you think it's the programming? Or do you think it's the, I'm just trying to know what it is. The Kalashi were theorizing that the biking really, that explosive biking in the beginning just kind of changed the landscape. It put, it put some people down. I personally don't think, but that, that doesn't mean that I'm right either. Right. What I think is that Let's go back. we're seeing more of Yes, I can. You walk. Can I just take water with you? No, I threw it out. I feel so bad. It's there. Can you take one? For, I'll take one for you. We, we shall continue. We shall continue. <laughs> you follow him with the camera? Yeah. He doesn't really talk to you. You just like follow him? Yeah. I need him to Sweet. Talk. I need him to say something. Sweet. He loves to talk. You have to pull him out for a private conversation. Yeah. No, no, yeah. but listen, like, here's the thing. Okay, let's switch, let's switch, come. <laughs> come no, 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 it's fine. I, how should I say this? I was a CrossFit fan before I was anything uh, 
uh, before I was an athlete or I was a coach or any of those. Yeah. And I grew up watching Road to the Game stuff, you know, uh, my most viewed documentary, not documentary, Apple TV, <laughs> is the Froning one. Uh, but the only reason why I subscribed to CrossFit back in the day is to watch the behind the game stuff. Yeah. So it's cool to be it's cool to be talking and it's weird to be on this side because to me those are like like now us being for six weeks at Chesapeake with Ben. It was like a teenage dream. You know, like it is like meeting a superhero for the first time and he's so kind and friendly and you're uh, building the friendship it's very very special so when he came to hey. the Ben's parents <laughs> hey. house do you want to hear something <laughs> <laughs> uh, is uh, is Gabby Magawa a teenage dream <laughs> uh, <laughs> definitely definitely I'll see you later <laughs> thank you Christoph I love you So that's like a four second cycle time. Well, you know, I almost, I'm only willing to press it so far. Once I start seeing Dave, I'm like, oh, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. I'm going to put on a shirt, you know, before he asked me to. Because, no, he didn't ask me to. I just know, I know my limits, okay? Oh, yeah. Like, there was times when I would like even just pull my shirt up because it was so hot in the tennis stadium back in the day and they were like, hey, put your shirt down. I'm like, bro, everybody's half naked around here. You're worried about my midriff? <laughs> so. I know, I was just like, I'm freaking melting out here. I need a little ventilation. But no, I've, I mean, they're treating us great. We're, we're doing a really good job and they're, they're letting us do our thing. So we can't complain. Like, I'm done for the day now. So how so long are you be down here? Out until like they kick me out. Until, until they kick me out. Oh, okay. You're not gonna get kicked out. Well, I have some friends coming down to make sure. Oh yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um. No. Yeah. But it was good. Hey. I, well, actually, no. no. your viewers don't speak Russian because I curse a lot in Russian. <laughs> 21, 15, 9, 15, 21, right? Yeah. Like Sorry? Is English getting better now? His English got much better, <laughs> much, much better. And he, uh, he's clever. Sometimes he's a bit shy in certain circumstances or when he doesn't want to engage, he's like, oh, I don't understand. But uh, yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> he, he learned the... English from Tennessee, which is so close, so. Don't get cut today, yeah? don't get cut. <laughs> I've been telling him that since the competition begins. His only task. Uh, next event. The way, next, next event. Uh, so, this is his friend from Dubai, and Dennis. Um, he actually a really good coach in Dubai, fly high, CrossFit. And he's really good in um, weightlifting. So, he's a coach, he's really, really good, good friends of his, and they've been friends forever. So he's yeah, asking him if he can like be nearby to give some like tips and tricks how to get to through it. <laughs> it's gonna be intense. 20 seconds, four minutes, four, 40 seconds between him just standing there, like between the first slip until um, like a first cleaning jerk. That's a lot of minutes. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing I do all the time. I'm gonna be sitting on that table right there and crying into that woman's shoulder. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> She's going to hug me. <laughs> <laughs> 
she's gonna lock her eyes when you look at her. And you can start crying. I know. I cried, like, you, you'd be surprised. Like, as soon as they walk out, I just go on the full floor, like, hysterical, like, <laughs> it's not even, like, pretty, please don't. <laughs> if you come to me, I'd be like, <laughs> it's, like, the worst. It's very hormonal, I don't know what happens to me. And I'm really calm right now, and it's like, it's almost like, I don't know, like, I don't know how people do that. I always say, this is gonna be my last one. I'm never going, I'm not going to rogue on a patient, I'm not going to rogue on No, 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 and then he's like, can you come with me? And I'm like, ah. Of course. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> and I'm like, I hang up the phone, I'm like, what did I say? Pumped. I got lotion. Get that done. Yeah. Mm. Is that what? Javine? For javine? No, no, no. no. That's sodium bicarbonate to uh, delay the pump. Three. All right. Hoopenix, lane two. Cornier, lane one. Coaches, please make your way to the bottom of the stairs. Jorgen, is this a sp sprint? Somewhat, yeah. Controlled sprint. Smooth and fast. Just like you. Yes. Yes, seventh. Seventh? Yeah. So should be an interesting event. I think for the guys, it's going to be so... It's going to come down to such small margins. So it's a little bit of anybody's game. Everyone just has to go very hard. So we will see. We'll see. Is he pretty excited? Yeah, when this was announced, yeah. he was stoked. He was like, hmm, I can, I can be really good at this. I can be really good at this. Yeah, and he's he, stoked for this. In, and he's in striking distance at the podium. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it's so even on the men's side this year that Definitely. He's in a good spot, get some good points here, and then total in the evening. Good one for you? Uh, normally, yeah. Now with my back, we'll see. <laughs> Trying to hold on, you know. Is it blown up or is it injured? I think I tweaked it yesterday with the sandbag. Uh, it's fine, you know, it's part of the game. But uh, yeah, trying to hold on, you know, make the top 20 at least. It's not the weekend I wanted, but trying to make the most of it. So it's good. Uh, when you say you tweaked it, did you know you tweaked it? Yeah, I felt it. Like while, I could, when it happened out yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went back, like, uh, I think it was like my 12 squad out of 20, and I felt that pop. Step down, right? 18 or 11. Bro, 1800. Yeah, that's too fast. Bro. I know, I think. So 16, 17 for the second Tuesday thing. It's all transitions and cadence. You just gotta be tough, you can't slow down. First round I came out hot, I was like third or fourth in the heat. And I was like second to last in the second one. Come out hot, but not too hot. Save enough that you can burn it down the last one. Just gotta be tough mentally on the last one. It's, it's over before you know it, bro. Just reiterate, Jay, it's a box step down. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Hey, don't fall start, don't fall start. Go fast, guys. No! No! guy started. His body covered the same distance, the bag did not. So how far did he, how far was short was he from the band? Eight seconds. No, how? Eight feet. Okay, then yeah, that's not cool. And it was, the, the problem is, he was third. I the well, I don't, not in the score, but in the way. Oh, yeah. What's up? He's intense right now. 
That's all right. Just have an honest conversation. Yeah, I couldn't hear it. I couldn't hear it, but I could just tell by his lips and his face. What did you do? He was intense. <laughs> well, yeah. what but he wants the same about? thing I do. He asked about Moritz. He left like a tenth of a second early, maybe. I don't think it made a difference. And we were talking about something from yesterday. Global across the game, the men getting set to take the floor here. That's number eight is intervals. But it's Roman Krennikov who still has a sizable lead over Jeffrey. None of these athletes are allowed to rebound this box jump over, so we're all seeing them step down. Some turning and pivoting and some staying parallel the whole time. Where that self-awareness has to kick in for these athletes, understanding that if they do have to persevere, it's the latter part of this test is gonna be a short turnaround, so how much do you push here is the question. Do you wanna be first to the halfway mark, or do you wanna be first on the way back overall? Nikoski's done. Yo, Nikoski, sub four each time. But right now, he's making slight work of these Burberry box jump overs, looking very smooth. Get one foot on top, kicking that other leg all the way through, almost sliding across the box. He only really has that one rep remaining, and he will demolish Yo, Nikoski's top ties, and Velder is in. Three even reps here on this 48-inch box. The athletes just get over it however they want. They just cannot swing their feet around the box. Pat Felder continues to attack this test. He is in the lead here on the way back down the floor. Here come Bailey Martin and Lazar Jukic. Felder, the crowd comes to his feet, is getting set to win this test. Felder is done, and Pat Felder is going to stroll across the finish line and put 100 points in his pocket. Hey, did you save a little there in the end? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I knew crazy. I was like, I feel fine for the most part. Yeah. Not fine, but I'm like, I'm not paced the first one at all, but went slower than I needed to. And I recovered pretty fast. But it was good. Just box jump over was a little slow compared to everyone else, and I did an extra one. You, but, think that, you think that was, uh, you oh, took I'm second place in the heat, you Thank think you. that was second place overall? Go, uh, dude. Oh, with, the with the two intervals, I think I'm third overall right now. I mean, still another heat to go. But that was decent, I'll take it. Yeah. No, I'm good, I'm gonna walk. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. don't wanna go any further. Sorry? How is that, you got a little. That's fine. Yeah, yeah you, you know. a little funny. It is what it is, you know? It's not fun, but should have been again, so. I'll deal with it. That's how you learn, right? Yeah. Uh, Samuel, I have one question for you. Yep. Who will you consult in making your next decisions about what to do? This guy right there. Yeah. You know, he's been with me for the last three years. And we'll see the board, but I just finished last again, so my chance to make it, uh, good job, bro. It's pretty, uh, let's say they're not high. <laughs> Can't say it's 100% sure, but it's not high. So. Are you feeling pain out there? When you're yeah, yeah, I mean, if I'm being honest, this morning the run was yeah. on my back. This one, yeah, my back was bur like bothering me, but my legs was my legs was just not in the game also. So if I'm being honest with myself, it's I will say 50% my back, 50% my legs. Are you in actual pain? I mean, it's bothering, but like you know, we're tough. Everyone here is tough, so like a pain for us is like you know when the doctor asks you uh, like, hey, how much I'm, are you on pain uh, from one to ten? Like, no one here is going to say, oh, it's 10, you know, I'm dying. Right. Like, you know, we're all tough guys. So it's, uh, it just, it sucks. You know, it's hard to perform when you, 100%, but, hey, there's worse thing than that in life. So. Thank you. No problem. Catch you later. Bye. Ben? Okay. How are you? Good, you?
take your CrossFit level one. For me, it was the best investment in my fitness career.